Hi. Happy Sunday to you. This is a subarctic beekeeper. One of the many. And I have found myself with a dilemma. What's new? I have a, a new hive, which is a split that I made from capped brood frames from my stronger hives. And I added a Saskatraz queen. I was excited about that. Well, she died. So now I have a nuke with bees hatching out, but no one there to take care of them. Nope. And so when I opened that hive today, I saw signs of starvation in that nuke hive. And I pulled out that dead queen. So I've come over to this other colony that has the IRS queen in it. Well, she's not laying. She's been in there over a week. I'm trying to brush these bees out of this hive. Get them into this new box. It doesn't look like they want to go. So I've got this other colony with this IRS queen. Well, she's not laying. I want to keep my bees alive. So I pulled the capped brood in the nuke frame and put it in the box that has the IRS queen. Pulled out her empty frames. The empty frames from her hive. I separated the nuke bees from the frames of cat brood and put them in a box. So I've got a deep box with the queen who's not laying and she's got about nine frames of cat brood in there. Also a bunch of bees that don't seem to have a whole lot of love for her. On top of that, I got a queen excluder because I don't want that queen to move up at all. I want her to stay down there and get to lay in. Lay, 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 lay. Above the queen excluder, I put a shim. This queen excluder makes it so the queen can't move up. But it doesn't help this second honey super. It doesn't give the bees that are in the honey super any room to get out of the hive if they want to. For cleansing flights or once they get old enough to forage. And so I put a shim. And a shim is a piece of wood with a hole in it. And it goes around the perimeter of the box. Just adds another entrance. So I've got deep box, queen excluder, shim, honey super with drawn comb in it. And then I'm putting a feeder on top with sugar syrup one to one because these gals are hungry and they are stressed and they're not old enough to forage. Now they've got a way to get out of the hive to do their cleansing flights. They've got some food. So in a few days, the bees from the lower box should chew their way through the frames. I forgot to tell you that after the deep box, instead of using newspaper, which is what most beekeepers do, I use toilet paper because I don't want it to take much longer than it's already been for them to reunite. This needs to be quick because these bees aren't doing well. And the potential's great because I've got all these frames of, of cat brood from these really strong hives. So the bees in the lower box will chew their way up through that toilet paper. By then, everybody will be used to each other's pheromones and the colony ideally should unite. There you go. This has been a weird summer, but lots of things going on with my apiary. Beekeeping is a pretty involved hobby or job, whatever you choose it to be. Know that before you get into it. Take care. Take care of your bees. Take care of yourselves and have a great week. Everything is copyrighted and all rights are reserved. And I wish you the best.